you know, one of the biggest weapons we use against the ice and the snow, rock salt, right? But have you ever thought what's behind the science of rock salt? I can't say that I have, Rob, but private side investigator Jonathan Walsh, he's done a lot of thinking about it. He's out in Garfield Heights right now to break down the technology of salt. Yeah, and you really don't think about technology when you see all of these salt pellets scattered all over the place, right? We want to know, when are these things effective? And did you know that you can supercharge these chunks to make them more powerful? ODOT has used 154,000 tons of salt so far this season. Much more, of course, will be used today and tomorrow to melt the ice and snow. But did you know how well salt works is based on the temperature of the pavement, not air temperature? Something to keep in mind, a pound of salt will melt 46 pounds of ice when it's 30 degrees out. But when it drops all the way down to 20 degrees, one pound will only melt eight pounds of ice. When that happens, we can add liquids to the salt. We pre-wet the salt with liquids to help continue aiding in the de-icing process, raises that freezing point, and allows us to keep those roads running wet. ODOT has started to use something called aqua salina, a natural product that has potassium, sodium, and magnesium, plus calcium chlorides. And that supercharged up salt solution is available locally, so that helps ODOT snag up this stuff and get it out on the roads. Reporting live here in Garfield Heights, I'm Five Inch Side Investigator Jonathan Walsh, always thinking about rock salt science for the now.